some cooler weather coming in for the weekend. I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn, the UF Weather Center. And as we talk about the forecast, we have to look up towards the northeast. That's where we're watching an area low pressure that is continuing to deepen. And as some very unusual weather occurring here in the U.S., we have snow on both coastlines. We're looking at some potentially heavy wet snow anywhere from uh, New York and Pennsylvania and then back down into the Northeast Corridor. And as you look back out west, they're also looking at the chance of snow. Now our temperatures are starting to cool off a little bit here today, but it's really going to be as we get into Saturday and that area of low pressure continues to deepen. As it does, we're watching that jet stream that's going to be pushed back and that's going to be letting some of those cooler temperatures drop southward. So we are looking at a much cooler forecast and starting to shape up. Here it is, your hour by hour heading into tonight. Notice around 8 p.m. our temperature is already into the upper 50s and then we're going to continue to watch us fall into the lower and upper 40s as we go past midnight. In fact, our morning low expected right around 41 degrees, so clear skies and much cooler outside. Now the three big things to talk about in our forecast is our first cold wave is this weekend. That gives us temperatures with lows in the morning in the low 40s and then near 70 afternoon. Next front that brings some showers possibly on Tuesday and then as we get towards the end of the week, that's when our second cold wave arrives and we're talking significantly cooler. Lows at night potentially near freezing by Thursday night and we're watching our highs on Thursday only near 60 degrees. In fact, a lot of spots may only stay into the 50s. Here it is, that second cold wave. Now we're looking at this weekend. That's the first one. So we're just bringing those somewhat cooler conditions. And then as we get into midweek, things are sort of moderating just a little bit more of a zonal flow. And then watch as the bottom literally drops out. We'll see those colder temperatures diving all the way down to South Florida. And we're talking, it looks like the freezing line will be going as far south as north central Florida near Gainesville, and that could spell some damaging weather for our crops and plants. Now, as we do watch this, things then will moderate as we get past uh, Thursday, but it is going to be a very cold day and cold night on Thursday. Here's your forecast though, for this weekend. Saturday, temperatures into the low 40s for your morning. Clear and much cooler as the sun rises up at 654. We're looking at sunny skies. We have that cool Canadian high pressure that's been building in, and that'll keep our weather on the dry side. Low 70s in Saturday afternoon. So a normal Saturday for us. And as you're getting into Sunday, just a tad cooler. We'll see some upper 60s along the I-10 corridor. In fact, even 69 down towards Crystal River, 70 in Gainesville. But take a look at your extended forecast. It is not going to be warming up anytime soon, so no 80s in our forecast. And in fact, we have 60s as we're looking into next week and barely 60 by Thursday when our second cold wave arrives. Again, we have a good chance of rain with our next front on Tuesday.